This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Let's get right into the news. We'll get to this in a second. We'll get to this in a second, and we'll get to this right now. We got YF and Lucci and Young Thug. Supposedly, now these guys have had problems over the years. Uh, allegedly, well, there's pictures, but YF and Lucci allegedly in Jericho at one point years ago they were together and then they weren't okay but this is a point where she, she her and young thug were having a problem and maybe she just tried to make him mad okay obviously it worked and they're still together to this day so they worked it out and that's great okay then allegedly young thug has a problem with someone who passed that wife and lucha was close to and that disrespect happens, okay? These two continually disrespect each other on huge levels. Luckily, nobody's been hurt because there have been incidences where somebody could have gotten hurt. But now, he announces that they might be doing a mixtape together. Is that even possible? Has too much been done where they can't work together and just they can coexist in the same city? I mean, the way these guys troll each other, they'll, they'll go even as far as taking pictures of each other's cars, saying, I know where you're at. I know where you're at. YFN Lucci's truck got Swiss cheesed at the Lenox Mall and nothing happened, okay? I, I, I mean, he wasn't in it, obviously. He was shopping, so it was a message. I think these two actually like each other. It's like, you know, like they want to be friends with each other, but they can't. They kind of respect each other on a certain level, but they can't. Could they do a mixtape together? Well, if the right person brought them together, I think so. He announced that he has a mixtape with him. So I, maybe they worked everything out. Who knows? Okay, that would be good though, you know, because how far, how long could this go on with these two like trolling each other like this? Like, it's not over, you know. Anyways, we'll we'll move on from this. Uh, Boosie reacts to Hurricane Chris. Now Hurricane Chris, pr like, something happened. Unfortunately, he even is very remorseful for what happened. Had to happen. Allegedly, someone tried to take his vehicle from him, and he defended himself. And unfortunately, somebody passed away. And he was very remorseful that he said, hey, pray for that other family. If he was maliciously doing something, he wouldn't say pray for the other family. I mean, when I met Hurricane Chris, and I interviewed him before, seems like a person that has good intentions and good vibes inside, okay? I can only go from my experience and my takeaway from somebody's character. Seem like a good person. I don't know him like personally, so I can't vouch for that. But from that, from him, his reaction to this, he even made a statement. Like he didn't, wasn't, you know, uh, hiding or anything. Boosie made a statement about it. Right here. You hear about the hurricane Chris? So he said, you know, people be thinking rappers are soft, but you know, when you try somebody, especially the down south area, people got protection, bro. Like, you know, no matter what, it's so it's like. Why even try somebody like that, you know? So somebody tried him, something happened. Unfortunately, something happened, you know? So Boosie reacts to that um, and says, hey, they thought he was soft and they found out he wasn't. Now they're both from the same state, same type of area. I think they they live within like 50 to 100 miles of each other. I, he might be, I don't, see Boosie, it always confused me. I'm not from Louisiana. I'm not from that part, yeah, Baton Rouge area. I've been there, I shot videos there, but I don't know it enough to be like, yeah, they're from the same area. I know they're from within the same area. I know that much. 
and in people of Louisiana, you don't play with people of Louisiana, man. They're serious, okay? They're, they're serious. Um, respect. Okay, then we got. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Little baby explains how he flipped tw uh, t a six, what a eighty dollar loan. It, it keeps changing. I saw what I from what I saw from the documentary. It was a couple hundred dollars. Like he kept asking people for. They're saying twenty dollars on all these websites, but I thought it was. He asked a couple people for a hundred to two hundred dollars and flipped it into a hundred thousand. I don't know the purpose of that. I mean, we know little baby is gotten in the rap game and made it work for him. Okay. And he's actually more consistent than all the rappers out right now. Consistently coming with hit records. Um, did he do this in the street? Probably. Okay. They say he came home to a couple hundred dollars and flipped it into a hundred thousand. These documentaries tend to exaggerate. Even if he flipped a couple hundred dollars into 10, 20,000 and went from there, that's impressive, okay? So in no way am I downplaying. I just know that for a documentary, you would inf inflate it a little bit. Little Baby obviously is a driven person, ambitious, and he makes things happen. We know that, <laughs> okay? So I don't doubt that he did something amazing with that. Uh, then we got... Uh, Ashanti did something with that Joe and they were talking about how 50 Cent dis when he was dismantling um, Irv Gotti's record label with Ja you know Irv Gotti and Ja Rule's record label Ashanti was like the innocent bystander and unfortunately when you're associated with that you get the blowback too that's what happened and you know 50 Cent just had impeccable timing at that time they were going through another case um distracted from that and it was perfect timing for 50 to come in in dismantle plus 50 cent was the top he was the drake of that time if you say like couldn't do any wrong anything he did people gravitated towards he still kind of has that effect now but now it's with television you know um and that was that i mean she just reacted to that she also found out I, I already reported this, but she found out during other interviews with Fat Joe that they didn't want her on uh, What's Love song. They wanted to put someone like Jennifer Lopez or something and just have Ashanti reference and write it. And Fat Joe made sure that Ashanti stayed on the record. I think that's everything. Yes, I covered everything. Okay, so anyways, guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys look in the mirror and believe in yourself. I know I preach this every time, but I just want you to... Sometimes you got to hear it over and over again. Anything's possible. Don't don't believe anybody when they tell you that'll never happen. That's not possible. Those are people that don't believe in themselves. Believe in yourself. That's, that's, that's half the battle. It's believing in yourself and getting up every day and being consistent and being... Doing something productive towards your goal every day. I mean, that's really the key. No days off. You at least got to give it an hour. 30 minutes to an hour. Do something to take yourself to the next level. I need to do this myself. You need to do it. We all need to remind ourselves to stay consistent and stay bettering ourselves. Whether it be health, mental, you know, all that stuff. Put good things in your brain, put good things in your body, and stay consistent with it. Would we'll be for a better life. We always live for the best quality of life at the present time. And that's what you got to be focused on. And just try to be the best person you can be. You're going to fail sometimes. I fail many times, but we'll get through it. I appreciate you guys. Check you guys on the next one. Peace.